We said uh, before that uh, the concept of electric flux is very abstract, uh, so we can't really explain it in terms of something else that easily. There are analogous quantities, like we said current, for instance, that has the same mathematical form. But what we can do is learn how to calculate it. So let's start with one of the simplest problems. Let's imagine you have a plane, an area, A, and this area is existing in the xy plane. So the z-axis is perpendicular to this plane. And it's given in the problem that the electric field is uniform. It's the same value everywhere in space. Okay? And the question is, they're asking, what is the total electric flux through this plane? So this is the, the required in the problem and the given, and we want to see how to calculate the total electric flux. So first thing, let's make a small element of area on the plane. What direction would you make the area vector for this element of area? Now, this element of area, it's, uh, it, this area is an open surface. So there is some confusion. Should you make it this way in the positive z direction or in the negative z direction? You have complete choice to do whichever one way you want. So I'm going to choose for this particular problem to make the element of area point in the same direction as the electric field. So let's calculate the electric flux through the ith element, one of the elements of area. Let's imagine this is the ith element and let's remember that the fl flux was defined to be the electric field vector dotted into the area vector at for that element of area. So what is the electric field vector and what is the area vector? How could you write these as vectors? We know the electric field points in the k direction and it's uniform, so it's the, it has the same value e everywhere. So I can write it as e k hat. And the area vector, I can write it as a magnitude with an, times a direction. The direction is in the k hat direction. So I can write the area vector this way. Now when you get the dot product between these two things, k hat dot k hat is 1. And so you simply get e times delta. So this is what the electric flux is. It's just E, the electric field, times the area. Uh, you could do the same thing in a slightly different way. If you want to get the electric flux through the ith element, you could just say E dotted into the area, and the dot product between any two vectors is the magnitude of the first times the magnitude of the second times cosine of the angle between them. And since the angle between the area and electric field vectors is 0, cosine 0 is 1, so you just get 1. So you get the same result, that the electric flux is just E times the area. Okay, so what if you want to calculate the total electric flux through the whole surface? Well, you need to add the electric flux through each element of area. You add all these numbers for all the areas, and you take the limit when the size of the area goes to zero. We, see, we just showed that E dotted into the area is just E times delta A, because cosine of the angle is zero is one. So let's look at this summation in a bit more detail. E, the electric field for every single element of area, is the same. It's a constant because we, it was given in this particular problem that the electric field is constant. In other problems, if the electric field is not constant, then the, prob the answer will be different. But for this problem, the electric field is constant, so I can take this E outside of the summation. So you get E times this summation. Now, what is this summation? You're adding all the elements of area for this plane, which gives you what? It'll give you the total area. So the total electric flux just simply turns out to be the electric field times the area. If you want to solve the problem using the integral approach straight away, the reason why I did the limit of sums approach is because it gives you an intuitive understanding of what the process is going through to calculate the integration. But if you write it as an integral directly you and you don't have that background, you might kind of really not get the intuition of how what the integration is doing. So if you want to use the integral approach directly, you write integration of e dot dA, put e as e k hat, dA as dA k hat, k hat dot k hat is 1, you get integration of e dA. Then since e is a constant, it can go out of the integration, and you get integration of dA, which is just the total area and you get the same result as we got before. So in the future, as you practice more and more, you should uh, evaluate things with the integral directly, but in the beginning, in the first few problems, I'm going to use both together at the same time. Now, to relate the concept of electric flux to the concept of number of lines, electric field lines crossing an area, if you remember previously, 
in the last chapter we discussed the idea of making a certain number of electric field lines so that you can illustrate in a textbook uh, the strength of the electric field and we said uh, so in, in, in this particular problem we just found that the electric flux is electric field times the area well the electric field then is the flux divided by the area the perpendicular area in this case we saw from the concept of electric field lines that the electric field the magnitude is proportional to the, the number of lines crossing the area over the area so you can see here that the concept of electric flux has some similarity with the concept of a number of electric field lines so there is a relationship between the electric flux and the concept of the number of lines going through the area but remember that the, the number of lines is kind of arbitrary because you're the one who chooses how many lines to put going out of a charge or into another a negative charge so there is a relationship between these things they are related in some way but they're not exactly the same thing the maybe you can say the electric flux is the more mathematical way of determining the number of lines going through a certain electric field lines going through a certain area